this is our anatomical model of the respiratory system. At the top here, this is the hyoid bone. And when you tilt this over, you can see this structure here, which is the epiglottis. And here's the hyoid bone again. We see some of the larynx showing through. Now the larynx uh, continues underneath here. Um, this is the thyroid cartilage. This is the thyroid gland. The cartilage that lies underneath the thyroid cartilage is the cricoid cartilage. And here you can see the cartilaginous rings that are covering the trachea. So once I get to the cartilaginous rings, I know I am no longer at the larynx, but I am at the trachea. And of course we have the superior vena cava. And this is the right brachiocephalic vein and the left brachiocephalic vein. This is the right jugular vein and the left jugular vein the right subclavian vein and the left subclavian vein. We can also see the arteries coming off of the aortic arch here. This is the left subclavian artery, the left common carotid artery. This is the brachiocephalic trunk which branches off to form the, the right common carotid artery and the right subclavian artery. Now one of the things to note here is that the lungs are asymmetric. So our right lung is going to have three lobes, a superior, a middle, and an inferior lobe and the left lung only has two lobes, the inferior lobe and the superior lobe. And the reason for this is because we need room for the heart. Now, when I take off the lungs here, you can see that the lungs have the, this muscle here, which is the diaphragm. This is also the diaphragm shown here on this model. And remember that the diaphragm is the principal muscle for respiration. So here we see the diaphragm on the other lung, as well as on the model here. And now we can see the ascending aorta and a little bit more of this aortic arch. Now remember the aortic arch is going to continue and it will go down to form the descending aorta. The portion of the descending aorta that is in the thoracic cavity is the thoracic aorta. Now the thoracic aorta is going to go through the diaphragm and at that point the descending aorta will become the abdominal aorta and we see a little bit of the abdominal aorta shown here. So remember the abdominal aorta and the thoracic aorta are two different regions of the descending aorta. So once I remove the heart I'm able to see uh, more of these structures. This is the epiglottis the hyoid bone, larynx, the thyroid cartilage, thyroid gland, cricoid cartilage, cartilaginous rings of the trachea. Now the trachea is going to continue to go down and I can see a little bit more of the trachea shown here. And the trachea will bifurcate. When it bifurcates, it's going to create the right and left primary bronchi. Now the primary bronchi will then branch to form the secondary bronchi and the secondary bronchi are going to branch again to form tertiary bronchi and so on. This is going to progress until we get to the smallest airways which are the bronchioles and the bronchioles are going to terminate in a structure called the alveoli and the alveoli will be a model that I will do on another video. Thank you for watching.